Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Yo, yo, how y'all doing? It's your boy, Mike D, a.k.a. D-D-E-A, the a.k.a. 13th Wonder of the World, a.k.a. Mike D-Z. Happy Sunday to y'all. I hope y'all had a great time. If y'all went to church today, I hope y'all had a great time as we get ready to wind down the holiday season for we're like 13 days away from Christmas or something like that. I can't remember. I think it's like, well, it's actually 15 days away from Christmas. And uh, I just want everybody to know that this is one of the best seasons of my life. I love Christmas. I love Easter and I love Christmas and Thanksgiving as well as Valentine's Day. Um, but Christmas is my favorite holiday. I love Christmas. Um, God bless you. God keep you. Thank you. For coming through on the point of view, shout out to the Point Place family, shout out to Bobby Reezy, shout out to M. Breezy, shout out to Naya Naya, shout out to my sister, love all y'all, and thank y'all all for joining me on the point of view. Not going to be long, I know that the Cowboys and the Eagles are the game of the night, and uh, I will have my say on that, I, I'm hoping that the Eagles beat the Cowboys, but... I'm thinking Dallas might win this game to at least, you know, tie up the season series. We'll see what happens with that, folks. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the wrestling uh, as much right now. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to talk about that. I want to talk about all the events that took place in the wrestling world this this week, as well as the uh, the deadline pay per view. Uh, the win of Trick Williams and, of course, Blair Davenport. Davenport, congratulations to those two for winning the Iron the Iron Man and Iron Woman Survivor, which makes them number one contenders for the NXT women as well as the NXT men's title. Uh, great matches on there as well. Also, um, CM Punk being on NXT as well at an NXT pay-per-view was great but ladies and gentlemen besides the wrestling thing i want to talk about sports by itself man last night a lot of things happened in the game as well as today first of all i want to say congratulations to the saints for winning today Derek carr is not 100 percent but the Saints beat a team that they were supposed to beat, and that's the Falc. I mean, the uh, Panthers. They were supposed to beat that team. I hope that uh, that C uh, yeah, CJ Stroud for the Texans. Excuse me, I want to talk about that. He had a head injury in the game against the Jets. I'm hoping that he pulls through because without him, they don't make the playoffs. They they are not even in playoff contention without him. But I want to see what happens with him. Also, Geno Smith is out as well, and they have Drew Locke playing. But, folks, when I talked about this earlier in the year, I did not know that this was going to happen. When they said that Hutani had cleaned out his locker in the Angels with the Los, with the Los Angeles Angels and things like that, that was a, that was the sign that was telling people that he was not coming back to the Angels. Because he did not come back to the Angels, guess where he goes? He goes to the Dodgers. He's now with Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Trace Thompson, and all those boys there with the Dodgers. Man, I am telling you, baseball... They don't have a salary cap, so people can sign with teams that they want. This is a big move for the Dodgers because this puts the Dodgers back in a position to win a World Series. The Yankees did it with Soto and the guy that they got from the Red Sox with Aaron Judge. Man, I'm telling you, this is what baseball is going to be about this year. Hatani is now a Dodger. Soto is now a Yankee. Man, the Braves, and that's my team, the Braves got to make a move, man. They got to figure out they are already a powerhouse team as it is. 
But do you think they need some more? Yes, they do. They need some more people on their team. This is the Texas Rangers are in trouble. The Astros are in trouble. These teams are in trouble, man. If you know, I, I I hate to say this, man. This is what it is, you know. And we'll see what happens when the season starts in March. But this is some big moves, folks. These are some huge moves in the game of baseball. Shout out to Tani for getting his bag. Shout out to Soto for getting his bag going to the Yankees. We're going to see more baseball moves coming up, folks. But not only that, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> it's really not an elephant in the room. I'll just say that. The Los Angeles Lakers win wins the NBA Midseason Cup. They win the championship. Anthony Davis. 41 and 20, man. 41 points, 20 rebounds. That's the Anthony Davis that we need to see. And he's talking trash now. But he's got to keep that up because we still have 67 games left in the season to play. And, and congratulations for them winning, the Lakers for winning the cup, the, 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 mid, the end season tournament cup. But now I want to see, do they have that same mindset to win the NBA championship to get to the finals? LeBron James has now accomplished something else. He's the first guy to win, to be the, the midst, the end season tournament MVP. LeBron James played this game, played this like it was an NBA championship, folks. The Lakers had it on their mind. Austin Reeves gave the guys 24 points yesterday off the bench. You know, Hallam Burton, he played good, but he didn't play good enough like he did against Giannis. The Pacers are, are a team, but the Pacers are not on that level yet to win a championship. The Lakers know how to win a championship. LeBron James knows how to win a championship. And this is just another accomplishment to his resume. Michael Jordan would have gotten this if they would have had it when Jordan was playing. Kobe would have probably gotten this if they would have had this going on. This is a great move by the NBA. I know that five hundred thousand dollars is 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 not a lot to the big, the older guys, but to to some of the young guys, yes, it is. It's a nice it's a nice package, but you win a you win a championship. You are a champion now. You are a in season tournament champion. You won the you won the cup. So congratulations to the Lakers for that. Congratulations to LeBron James. LeBron James is trying to get a team, an NBA team in Vegas to go along with the Aces, to go along with the Raiders, you know, and things like that. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. There's two teams in the NBA that should have NBA, two, fran two cities in the franchises that should have teams. They should bring the Sonics back. I think the Seattle Sonics would fit the bill to be back in the NBA, as well as the Las Vegas area. They deserve a team. We know now that the Clippers are not going to be in L.A. in the next couple of years. They're going to be in San Francisco. So the San, San Francisco, I think it's San Francisco where the Clippers are going to be. They're going to be in there. They're not going to be sharing the staples with the Lakers after a certain amount of, after next year or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a great move by the NBA. Give the players something to play for in the middle of the season. Now that this is over with, the Lakers got to rewind their focus and get back to the task at hand. And that's trying to win an NBA championship. Anthony Davis needs to play more like this so LeBron James can take a, side, a seat back. LeBron James is going to be 39. He does not need to be logging these moments, minutes, like that at 39. God is blessing LeBron to beat Father Time. And we'll see what happens with this. Only two people I know have beaten Father Time, and that's LeBron James and, and Tom Brady. That can win close to 40. Michael Jordan did it with the Wizards, but he, he only did it to a certain amount of a stick because tendonitis was killing his knee. 
If if Michael Jordan would have had the body of the you know the 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 medicine and the things that LeBron James does did with it did with his doing with his body, excuse me, you would see LeBron James, Michael Jordan probably could have played till he was 42. Or Kobe. Carl Malone almost did it, but in his 40, and when he was 40 years old, he couldn't play no more. He was out for a whole season. But you prepare yourself for this. If Anthony Davis can stay healthy, if Anthony Davis can stay healthy, folks, and put up 25 to 30 points a night with 10 rebounds, then the Lakers got a chance to win the championship. It's just that plain and simple. That's why you get a Torian Prince. That's why you got a Jackson Hayes to, to be for a big body. That's why you got you re-sign Austin Reeves. That's why you, you re-sign D'Lo, even though you're trying to get somebody else there. That's why you get these guys, like you re-sign Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's not scoring, but he's out there doing what he need to do to try to, you know, take on Halliburton. Halliburton. That's why you get a uh you resign a Rucci, a Rui. You resign these guys. That's why you got Christian Wood on the end of the bit. But which I wish that because he's there for two seasons. He's there for two years. My thing is this: Christian Wood needs to be out there playing, folks. It's just that plain and simple. Darvin Ham has got to figure out a way to put Christian Wood in the game. He does not, he did not sign with the Lakers to be on the end of the bench. He signed there to contribute. And they need to figure out a way to do it. Or is he going to be a valuable trade piece? I think the Lakers need to be trying to make a move on Sub Mills if they're going to make any moves. It depends on if their record is at the top of the game. We'll see what happens then, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm watching the, the Bills and the Chiefs. The Bills were doing what they're supposed to do. This is a big win for the Bills if they win this game. A huge win because they need to win this game. Right now, they're 6-6. Six and six. The Buffalo Bills have not been 6-6, six and six, I don't think, a while since Josh Allen's been in the league. They may have, but for the last two, three years, they haven't been 6-6. Six and six. They've been on top of the mountain. My thing is this with the Buffalo Bills, and I'll say this, and people need to understand why I'm saying this. He is in a situation where he knows that it's either Super Bowl or bust with him. Also, shout out, I, I'm praying that Justin Jefferson's great. Justin Jefferson got carried off to the hospital, had a problem with his chest and things like that. Uh, Justin Haber, he's not even in the game right now. He got hurt in the game against the Broncos. I'm thinking that the Chargers are probably not going to win the game if he's not playing. So we'll see what happens with all these games going on and things like that in football. But – I am happy about seeing my boys, the Los Angeles Lakers, win the first ever midseason tournament cup. Uh, maybe next year we'll see who else gets in there. Maybe Kevin Durant and them will win next season. A lot of teams that were in that cup, they were just in it. They, they're not worrying about They're worrying about where they're going to be at in June and in April and May when the playoff time comes. That's what they're worrying about right now. But it's good to see the Lakers win that. But I want the Lakers to, to do more now and try to get get the the NBA title. LeBron James has just added another another piece of hardware to his his Hall of Fame career. He's a he's a in season champion. I don't know if they're going to get rings for that or not. They may may not. I know they get the big payout, but I'm just here to tell you guys this. This was great for LeBron to win this. This this fitted him well. Now. With that being said, the Lakers now gotta gotta go move on and get ready to play some 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 great basketball with some great games they got coming up. They will play the Pacers again in March. The two times they meet them, one in Indy and one in LA. The Pacers are gonna have this on their mind because they're gonna be thinking, well, they they just beat us for the cup. So now we gotta play them. But we'll see what happens then. But anyway, congratulations to AD. For the big monster game. Congratulations to LeBron for being the MVP. Also, congratulations to the Pacers for being there. I know second place sucks, but they were there. And 
I'm glad to see that they did what they need to do to get there. They did beat a giant in Giannis and Lillard. But ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow will be about wrestling, of course. I will go over some of the football games and things like that. But tomorrow will be over about wrestling. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I will go back over the NXT. I will go over the, hopefully, the Impact uh, pay-per-view as well, as well as AEW, uh, their, pay, their, their weekly show, uh, Collision, and prepare for Monday Night, Monday Night Raw. Uh, I know tomorrow CM Punk is supposed to be on there to make a decision on if he's going to go to SmackDown, NXT, or Raw. I'm thinking that he's going to sign with Raw because I don't think Randy Orton and CM Punk needs to be on the same show right now. I think he will go into the Royal Rumble, and I think that he will win the Royal Rumble, and I think he will go up against Seth Rollins at Mania for the world title. It's going to be either him or Gunther. I think that you go with, with CM Punk, but you could go with Gunther. You could go with Gunther. It's not going not, not gonna to mess up CM Punk's mentality because he's still going to have the push of a lifetime. So we'll see what happens with that as well. Uh, Cody, I think Cody still goes against Roman Reigns and Randy Orton. I think that's what you have, a triple threat. Excuse me. A triple threat match between Randy Orton, Cody, and Roman Reigns at, Rain at Mania. I think Roman Reigns be the one that take the loss. And he rides off in the sunset for a while, and I think he comes back at SummerSlam. And then we see CM Punk against Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. I think you make these situations the way it is. I think you make this what it is. I think you make the matchup that you want it to be. So that's just my thought on that, you know. And uh, I'm back saying that. I'm saying that for a huge reason. I think that's what you go with. I think you go with that that scenario right now uh, later on down in the next year. But as for right now, I'm out. I'm Mike D. God bless you. God keep you. Enjoy your Sunday. We'll be back on tomorrow. Have a good night.